What is going on, you guys? It's your boy Keaton Talk Sports here, back with another video. As always, do me a favor like, comment, subscribe, follow on Instagram. Link is in the box below. This is my NFL Week 5 picks. I'm going to give you guys my NFL picks for this week's games. So, with that being said, let's not waste any more time. This is my NFL Week 5 picks. Last week went 8-8, eight eight, which is another average week, looking to stay in the double digit win column for the rest of the season. Overall, 32-32. and 32. NFC South showdown to start off the week. We have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at the Atlanta Falcons. Falcons fair by one and a half. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are coming off a home loss to Denver Broncos 26-7. The Falcons are coming off a home loss to Kansas City Chiefs 22-17. With that being said, I'm going to give the edge to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to win 20-17. I just trust the talent on Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense. A bit better than the Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta Falcons have a great defense, which will keep them in the game. But I trust Baker Mayfield to make more plays than Kirk Cousins in this game. So I'm going to give the edge to Tampa Bay Buccaneers to win on the road 20-17 in Atlanta. Next game, we have a London game between the New York Jets at the Minnesota Vikings. Vikings fair by 2.5. The Jets are coming off an ugly, low-scoring home loss to Denver Broncos 10-9. The Vikings are coming off a close road win at the Green Bay Packers, 31-29. With that being said, looking at this matchup, we have a matchup of two great defenses. Minnesota Vikings is currently ranked at number one in terms of total defense in the league. The Jets' defense is pretty solid on that side. But if I were to take a team, I'm going to go with the Minnesota Vikings to continue their trend 24-17. I just trust Brian Flores and his defense to get after Aaron Rodgers and make life hell for that offense. The Jets' defense will be able to keep in the game, but I just don't think the Jets have enough to beat this Minnesota Vikings. Sam Darnold is playing out of his mind right now. I just like the talent they have offensively. I just think the Minnesota Vikings are just going to win this game by 7 points, 24-17 in London. Next game, we have the Carolina Panthers at the Chicago Bears. Bears for by 3.5. The Panthers are coming off a home loss to the Cincinnati Bengals, 34-24. The Bears are coming off a home win against the Los Angeles Rams, 24-18. With that being said, give me the edge to the Chicago Bears to win at home, 26-20. I think this will be a really good game. I just trust the Chicago Bears defense to make that one big play at the end of the game to sack any Dalton. And I think that will be the biggest difference there. Um, it should be a phenomenal game. I think Dalton and the offense will be able to keep them in the game. But I think the Chicago Bears being at home... Winning last week, I think they're only going to continue to get better, especially on the defensive side of the ball. So give me the Bears to win 26-20 to at home. We have an AFC North showdown between the Baltimore Ravens at the Cincinnati Bengals. Ravens fair by 2.5. The Ravens are coming off a beatdown home win against the Buffalo Bills, 35-10. to The Bengals are coming off a road win against the Carolina Panthers, 34-24. to with that being said, give me the edge to the Baltimore Ravens to win by a touchdown, 27-20. to I just think simply Lamar Jackson and Derrick Henry will continue to have good days on their side. It's going to come down to can the Cincinnati Bengals defense be better? Can they find a way to contain and stop Derrick Henry? I just don't think the Bengals have an answer on their side to be able to stop this Ravens offense. So give me the edge to the Baltimore Ravens to win on the road, 27-20 to in Cincy. We have the battle of the basement in the AFC East between the Miami Dolphins at the New England Patriots. Patriots fair by one point. The Miami Dolphins are coming off of a just a bad loss at home to the Tennessee Titans, 31 to 12. The Patriots are coming off of a dominating road loss at the San Francisco 49ers, 30 to 13. This is simple to me. Give me the Patriots to win, 20 to 13. I just think the Patriots defense will be able to shut down the Miami's offense. No Tua. Tyler Huntley has not looked good at all. The Dolphins just look lost. Mike McDaniel doesn't know what the heck he's doing on the sidelines. Terrible play calling, all that stuff. I think the Patriots' offense will be able to get going, and they'll be able to find the red zone against a weak Miami Dolphins defense. So give me the Patriots to win at home, 20-13. to Next game, we have the Cleveland Browns at the Washington Commanders. Commanders fair by three points. The Browns are coming off a road loss at the Las Vegas Raiders, 20-16. to The Commanders are coming off a beatdown win at the Arizona Cardinals, 42-14. to This is simple to me as well. Give me the Commanders to continue their trend, 26-17. to I just don't trust the Cleveland Browns right now. They're a really hard team to figure out. Deshaun Watson looks washed up. 
the Browns just don't have an answer offensively in terms of what they want to do in terms of their identity. The Commanders have an identity, what they want to do. Jane Daniels is playing out of his mind, definitely in the run for rookie of the year. And I just think the Commanders are simply the better team at home. So give me the Commanders to win 26-17 in Washington. Next game, we have the Indianapolis Colts at the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jags favored by three points. The Colts are coming off of a home win against the Pittsburgh Steelers 27-24. The Jags are coming off of a road loss at the Houston Texans 23-20. With that being said, this is my upset pick of the week. Give me the Jacksonville Jaguars to win at home 23-20. I think the Jags are due for a win here. They looked good last week. They showed life on offense. They could have won that game against the Houston Texans, but they couldn't make enough plays. And the Jacksonville Jaguars, they know how to play this Colts team. They're at home. The writing's on the wall for the Jags. They have to get a win here. They cannot fall to 0-5 here and stuff like that. So give me the Jags to get their first win of the season, 23-20. Game of the week right here, we have the Buffalo Bills at the Houston Texans. Bills for it by one point. The Bills are coming off a disappointing road loss at Baltimore, 35-10. The Texans are coming off a close home win against the Jacksonville Jaguars, 23-20. With that being said, look at this matchup. There's a lot of headlines going into this game. You have Stephon Diggs, a former Buffalo Bill. He's going to be looking to get revenge on his former team. And you have the Buffalo Bills who got dominated last week, and they're going to be looking to bounce back here on the road at the Houston Texans. With that being said, give me the edge to the Buffalo Bills on the road, 31-28. I just simply trust Josh Allen in these moments. You have a pissed off Buffalo Bills team that's going to be looking to go on the road and just get the job done against the Houston Texans and stuff like that. So I think the Buffalo Bills will make more plays when it matters at the end of the game. This should be a phenomenal game, but I trust Josh Allen in these moments here. So give me the Bills to win 31-28 to at Houston. AFC West battle between the Las Vegas Raiders at the Denver Broncos. Broncos fair by three points. The Raiders are coming off of a home win against the Cleveland Browns last week, 20-16. The Broncos are coming off a low-scoring, ugly win at the New York Jets, 10-9. With that being said, give me the Las Vegas Raiders to win by one point on the road, 17-16. There's not much to say about this game. I don't think there's going to be much offense from either team. I think it's going to be a battle of which defense can get the most stops. And I trust the Raiders' defense to get that one stop against a rookie quarterback in Bo Nix. I'm just going to keep it at that. So give me the Raiders by one point on the road, 17-16 at Denver. Next game, we have the Arizona Cardinals at the San Francisco 49ers. 49ers for by 7.5. The Cardinals are coming off of a dominating home loss to the Washington Commanders, 42-14. The 49ers are coming off a really good win at home last week against the New England Patriots, 30-13. I'm going to keep this as short as possible. Give me the 49ers to win at home, 30-17. I just think the 49ers are simply just a better team than the Arizona Cardinals right now on both sides of the ball. I think the defense of the 49ers will be able to neutralize Kyler Murray and Marvin Harrison Jr. I think he won't have a good day against that defense, in my opinion. And I think the 49ers on offense, Brock Purdy and the rest of that crew, George Kittle, will just have a day against this defense. The Cardinals defense is just simply just bad. They just have not been able to figure out themselves on that side of the ball. And they're just getting dominated on that side. So give me the 49ers to win comfortably at home, 30-17. Next game, we have the Green Bay Packers at the Los Angeles Rams. Packers favored by three points. The Packers are coming off a close home loss last week against the Minnesota Vikings, 31-29. The Rams are coming off of a road loss at the Chicago Bears, 24-18. With that being said, give me the Packers to win by one point, 24-23. I like the Rams to cover in this game. This game's on the road. A bit of a tricky matchup. You have Jordan Love, who was shaking off the rust last week, and then having to go on the road against a Rams team that has a lot of injuries right now. But I think the Rams will compete, and they're going to surprise a little bit of people. But I like the Packers to get the job done with their talent, and I just think they're a better team here by one point. So give me the Packers to win 24-23 to in L.A. Next game, we have the New York Giants at the Seattle Seahawks. Seahawks favored by 6.5. The Giants are coming off of a home loss last week against the Dallas Cowboys, 20-15. The Seahawks are coming off of a road loss at the Detroit Lions to get their first loss of the season, 42-29. With that being said, give me the Seahawks to bounce back at home, 28-20. I think there's a situation where there's no Malik Neighbors in this game for the New York Giants, who is obviously their best wide receiver for their team. So without him, I don't see a way the Giants are going to be able to generate any type of offense 
in this game. I think the Seahawks defense will play much better than they did last week. They're at home. And I think their defense will be able to key in on Daniel Jones and make life difficult for him on the road. So give me the Seahawks at home by eight points, 28 to 20. Sunday night football edition between the Dallas Cowboys at the Pittsburgh Steelers. Steelers for by one and a half. The Cowboys are coming off of a road win at the New York Giants last week, 20 to 15. The Steelers are coming off of a close road loss at the Indianapolis Colts, 27 to 24. Look at this matchup here. You have a situation where the Dallas Cowboys, especially on the defensive side of the ball, there's no Micah Parsons and there's no Demarcus Lawrence for that defense. That's a huge loss for that defense for the Dallas Cowboys, especially two guys that are able to get pressure on the quarterback. And this would have been a good opportunity to have those two guys for this particular game to go against Justin Fields, who struggles against pressure. So my point is, without those two guys, I think the Steelers, especially the run game, will be able to run down the Cowboys' throats in this game. And stuff like that. And I think the Steelers, being at home here, I have to give them the advantage to win. So give me the Steelers to win 21-17. to The reasons I just said, I think the Steelers' run game will be able to open up without those two guys I just mentioned who are out for this game. I think Justin Fields will be able to use his legs and extend plays for his team for first downs and all that. And Steelers being at home here, I just like to advantage them being at home. And I think their defense will be able to get out their deck Prescott and contain him in this game. So give me the Steelers at home here to win by four points, 21 to 17. Really good game to end the week here. We have the New Orleans Saints at the Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs fair by five and a half. The Saints are coming off of a close road loss at the Atlanta Falcons, 26 to 24. The Chiefs are coming off of a close road win at the Los Angeles Chargers, 17 to 10. With that being said, giving the Chiefs to win by two points here, 23 to 21. It's a situation where I know she rises out for the season with a torn ACL which is a huge loss for that Chiefs offense. Saints obviously lost last week by a few points. Again, they probably should have won if they were able to get the job done at the end of the game, but they weren't able to. But the Saints team can match up well with the Chiefs, especially the way the Chiefs have been looking. They've been winning, but it's been really close wins. And don't be surprised if the Saints catch the Chiefs lacking in this game. And they could definitely go on the road and beat them, but I still trust Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid to get the job done when it matters, and that's all you need. As long as you have those two guys on the sidelines, the Chiefs will find ways to win, whether if it's good, ugly, whatever it is. So give me the Chiefs by two points to go to 5-0 and here, 23-21 to at home. Now, do it. those are my NFL Week 5 picks. If you are new to the channel, like, share, subscribe. It really helps out the channel tremendously. We are currently 30 subscribers away from 600. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to another edition of Keaton Talk Sports. Until week six, have a good one, everyone.